Hello, my name is Makoto Nagano. Uh, my research group is interested in male reproduction. Annual reproduction is unique because there is a remarkable disparity between males and females. For example, nature created males in such a way that one man produces sperm at the rate of about 1,000 sperm every heartbeat. This is an exceedingly large number compared to the number of eggs that a woman produces. In addition, the process of sperm production continues for a lifetime without menopause. As such, Pablo Picasso had his last child when he was 60, 80 years old. So why is there such a significant difference between males and females? The reason is that there is a stem cell population uh, in the sperm producing system. These stem cells keep the same number throughout life while continuously producing sperm at a very high rate. How they coordinate their actions to balance the maintenance of stem cells and continuous production of sperm is the question we want to answer. Let's think about one stem cell dividing into two cells. If one of the two new cells remains to be a stem cell and the other decides to take a path to becoming a sperm, then the sperm producing system will be balanced and healthy. However, if both of two new cells decide to stay as stem cells, stem cells increase their numbers, but no sperm will be produced. It might even cause cancer. On the other hand, if both new cells decide to take a path to becoming sperm, then no stem cells will remain, and sperm production will eventually stop. How do sperm producing stem cells know what they should do and harmonize the sperm producing process? If we look at the world that we live in, we find that nature is created in such a way that all components in nature directly or indirectly interact and communicate with each other to create a balanced, harmonious world. This gives robustness and resilience to nature. And you can find the same in your body. In this context, let's look at two kinds of fish, swordtail and clownfish, which show a unique ability to harmonize their community. If a community loses females, some males decide to become females. So these fish must be communicating each other and maintain the balance of males and females in their community. We believe that we have evidence that sperm producing stem cells are also communicating each other and with their surrounding cells to maintain a healthy, robust, and balanced sperm producing system. So what we want to do in our research is to become able to listen to and understand the conversations that these stem cells are making in their ecosystem. If we can do that, I believe that we will be able to ask them to do something that we want them to do, for example, in infertile patients. That is the goal of my research.